coming at you raw, uncut, fresh off of my doctor's appointment. Y'all know I wanted to start my weight loss journey and um, it's really been a struggle. It's just really been a struggle, honestly. And um, when I saw that I had a follow-up doctor's appointment, from my last doctor's appointment in April. This is just with my PCP, y'all. Not like a weight loss clinic. This is just with my regular PCP. I was like, um, I'm gonna see if he can give me some weight loss pills. Because y'all, I, I want this weight to come off, but I'm thinking in my mind, I really don't wanna do too much work. But he really just taught me some, my skin is skinny. But anyway, he really just, you know, I guess breathed life into me. Um, my weight has really had me down, depressed, um, not feeling my best here lately. And I keep telling myself, I keep telling myself that only I can change what's in the mirror. But then, you know, you hop on Instagram and TikTok and all this stuff. And you see, you see the baddies with the bodies. And you know, nine times out of 10, they got their bodies done or whatnot. Now me, I was like, well, damn, I don't want my body done. I mean, I'm okay with the little jiggles and stuff that I have. I just don't want too much. I, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want all the jiggles and things like that. You get what I'm saying? I'm about to go to Walgreens. I was like, I just don't want all the, all the jiggles and things like that. So, um. I was like, if I get some weight loss pills, I could drop a couple pounds. I'll be good to go. Y'all, I'm driving in traffic as well while I'm talking, but I am hands-free. Um, so I was like, okay, so he can prescribe me like a 30-day trial of weight loss pills. We can see how those work. This and the third. But this man showed me like my charts and stuff, like my cholesterol, my triglycerides, my bad fats, my good fats and stuff like that. And baby, when I tell y'all like, even though I am overweight, like internally, internally, my body is good. Like my body is really, really good. And like, yes, I want the weight gone and all this other stuff. Do I really want to put that foreign stuff into my body? I'm already iffy on pills as it is. Like I do not like taking pain pills or anything like that. So I just had to ask myself, like, do I really want to take a weight loss pill? Like, yes, I want the instant results, but do I want them at, at a cost of me taking this pill, possibly damaging something else within my body? <coughs> and life is rough for me right now. I mean, being a parent, period, okay? <coughs> Let's just put it, being a parent, period, and then trying to find time for myself. And it's like the time I do have for myself is after nine o'clock. Who wanna work out after nine o'clock? You know what I'm saying? Like I be wanting to unwind, I'll be wanting to relax. So I really have to push myself. Like I do still want that nine o'clock time to be for me to unwind and relax. So I'm pushing myself for at least the next two to three weeks to get up at five o'clock three times a week. I'm gonna make me a calendar today. I'm gonna make my calendar with y'all, but during the week baby during the week we're getting up at five o'clock to at least walk jump rope do something like if i merely walk for 30 minutes i can merely just walk my cul-de-sac like just to start i can really walk my cul-de-sac for 30 minutes like there is no excuse for me to be overweight and me not like not to like it like i said only i can change what i see in the mirror so that is what i'm gonna do Okay. 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 all right y'all so 
after my doctor's appointment, I ended up going thrifting. Now, I went thrifting for to find something for Jason's party, but got sidetracked. And when it when I when I'm motivated or sad, I go shopping. And I went shopping today, and I got me not only some cool um working out pieces that's strictly just for working out or walking because i'm not yeah walking um i got me some motivational pieces like just going through the shirts it was just like phenomenal i'm gonna show you what i got real quick i did go to two different places i went to plato's closets and i went to america's thrift <coughs> america's thrift which is the thrift store down here um i should have went to goodwill i probably would have found what i was looking for in regards to the thing for the party but let's just get into this because I don't want to be too long because I know I already rambled enough already. So, now I got some good stuff. Not only the stuff that I needed, but the stuff that I wanted. And I thought it would just be appropriate. So, yeah. And I couldn't pass it up. It was, it was Here are a pair of the leggings that I got. And, y'all, I'm just pulling these right out of the bag. And I can tell them apart because they have this material. And they're a little thicker. So that's one pair of leggings that I got. And y'all, I bought all this stuff for myself. And I don't feel bad. I bought your rice and stuff. But other than that, like, everything else from was for myself. That's a polo shirt. Y'all, if y'all not afraid to go to, to the thrift store, go to the thrift store. Like, they got some good stuff. I'm sorry. They got some good stuff. For half the price. And it don't even look worn. Like, that's cute. That's cute for my baby. Yeah. Okay, and here are the other pair of workout pants that I got. The Shariahs. The Shariahs. A Nike t-shirt for $6.00. Six dollars for the Nike t-shirt. Six dollars. Okay. Alright. So, I am a big MLK person. Um, For real, for real. So, this is the shirt that I got. It says, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And baby... This spoke to me because my weight matters. You know what I'm saying? I know this is talking about more than just my issues, but I had to formulate it to my mind so I can get on the right track. Like, y'all, losing weight is like 80% mental, 20% physical. Once I get my mental on, on track, I'll be able to do the rest of it. So, I got this shirt. Thought it was dope. Only $1.50. Now, y'all... I saw this shirt and I almost cried. Like for real, I saw it and I almost cried. I'm looking for the price tag so I can. Oh, this is a shirt that didn't have a price on it. This shirt did not have a price on it, but I was gonna pay whatever the price was because it says worth it. And it has Matthew 13, 44 through 46. And y'all, Matthew, the book of Matthew loves it. I have it tattooed on my on my wrist. Yeah, love the book of Matthew. So, this shirt with that scripture just made me just fall deep, fall more deep into my mental about knowing I have to change what I don't like. And this was like the second shirt that I found, y'all. Second shirt that I found. Identify, inspire, invest. Now, I don't know what this shirt was originally for. It's just a gilded shirt. But baby, it spoke to me. Because what? I had to identify the problem. The problem is my weight gain, right? I needed to be inspired to lose this weight. I went to the doctor today, right? And the doctor inspired me to want to lose the weight the right way. Not get on the pills, not do the shots. But he wanted me to do it the right way. Which is work. <laughs> work at my goal, alright? So that's inspire. Invest. Now it's time for me to invest me back into me you know what i'm saying so this is what spoke to me 
when when I first went through it. This is the very first shirt that I got. And it made me continue just to look for more inspirational shirts. Because, baby, any verse, any scripture, any motivational quote, you can always turn to try to motivate you in that in the instance. You can use that to not try to be down. And that's exactly what I did. Like, that shopping trip, baby, it turned it around for me. Still, mind you, yes, I'm having me some coffee with some pumpkin spice creamer. But that's all I've had today um, aside of my kombucha, which I did finish the first round. I'm going to do a second round um, with dinner with some water. But, yeah, y'all, like, this right here is what made me really want to do it. So, I am going to be in invested. I am going to be, um, I'm going to get on to it. The me holding myself accountable for the days that I'm going to work out, the days I'm going to walk. Well, I keep saying walk, work out. I'm not working out. I'm just walking, y'all. Um, I will try to do the whole weightlifting thing once I get further along my journey. But for right now, I have to start small. You know, I have to have that mustard seed. I have to be that mustard seed. You get what I'm saying? And I got to start small. So right now, I'm just starting small. I'm going to be walking. And I'm going to try to do that at least three times a week. And then once on the weekend. Okay, and if I could do more, hey, perfect. But if not, that's what I'm trying to incorporate into my busy my busy life. Y'all got to understand I'm a mom of three three kids with three different personalities and three different schedules. Okay? Each child has their own schedule. So, we got to work with that. On this video. I know this is impromptu, but baby, I got to do it. I got to do it. And I got to do it for me. <laughs> so, I will see y'all in the next clip.